Hello, I'm Renee Clark and welcome to this video lecture on Editing Formula Links in Microsoft Excel. In my video lecture on working with linked formulas in multiple workbooks, I briefly discussed editing links. Let's take a second look at it though. When you have external cell references in your formulas, sometimes you want to edit them. It could be because the links have been broken, the folder in which linked files previously resided has changed, the name of the folder has changed. It could be that you want to just change a cell reference from a fully absolute to a relative cell reference so that you could copy it. When you are working with linked references or external cell references, there's several things you want to keep in mind also. You also need to be aware that it's easier to manage your linked workbooks if they're stored in the same folder. Sometimes this is possible and sometimes not. If you need to keep them in separate folders, you just have to be aware that the file name and reference will include the path in which they are stored or if they become separated the path will be included in the reference to the workbook name. Sometimes you just want to break the links once you have finalized data. You may want to break the links so that you can give one version of the file with no linkages in it to an external party without giving them access to detailed data. You can also do this from within Excel. Another thing that happens when you have linked workbooks, when you initially open a linked workbook, it's going to come up with either this type of a security warning indicating that you have these automatic links and they've been disabled, asking if you'd like to enable the content, or it may come up with a separate dialog box indicating your choices for enabling the content or continuing with the links disabled. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and enable the content. This allows me to work with these links and have access to them. So if I wanted to reference here and edit my cell references further, you can see that here I have not only the file name here in the square brackets, I also have the entire path from the hard drive all the way through. So if I wanted to edit just the cell reference, maybe my path is fine, I'm going to leave it alone. I could come here and now if I'm changing from a mixed cell reference locking in the column, I could change that by pressing the F4 key while I'm around or have that selected, just like that. I can do the same thing here and I can toggle back through them as you can see. So it's pretty easy to edit once you locate it. If you find that you are in the need of editing out other things beyond just the basic cell reference such as the file name or the tab name or the path, you may want to just recreate the links to make it a little more straightforward and easier on yourself. That way you don't have to remember the syntax. Now once I have those in place, it's showing the path and all of this because I don't also have those workbooks available and open to me right now. I can go to, to the data ribbon and on the data ribbon is an option in the connections group called edit links. This will open up the edit links dialog box. Now I can work with these. If I had a link that was broken, it would tell me that if I needed to just change it, perhaps I had received a revised version of one of these, I could change the source. Or if I need to, I can break these links. And to break them, I simply click on break link and it will automatically break all of them. If I want to force an update without opening the files, I can do that here as well. So you can see editing and managing your links is relatively easy. I'm going to go ahead and break all my links. It will come up and give me a warning because this is unrecoverable. If you break links, you cannot go back. And I'm simply going to click break link and they're gone. Now my cells contain just the raw data, no formulas here. My formulas that are embedded to just include information within 
this particular workbook are still in place, just my linked formulas that are external to external cell references are gone. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.